planning One of his young daughters got missed. Tomorrow when I become minister for crocodiles, nobody can beat me. <laughs> Now, if there is anything that frustrates a politician, then it is the activists. Like the name indicates, activists will be active about anything and on anything to bring about social or political change. President Museveni has encountered these activists. Their activism gets tougher when the issue concerns the environment. To build a dam, they oppose you. Tell us why they oppose your plans to build a dam, Your Excellency. Somebody says there is some butterfly. That there is a butterfly which will be inconvenienced if. Do they have proof, Your Excellency, that with the power generation, the butterflies will suffer? I had such a, a, a stupid idea. Is supported by people with PhD. Take heart, Your Excellency. You are not alone feeling this frustration. Ask your comrade Minister Kahindo Tafire to tell you what he encountered when he gave away land to build Uganda's first ever 24-hour supermarket. In what way, Mweshmiwa? And they were telling me, you will give away the land. You will give away the land. And what did you tell them when they were bickering? I said, what is the water doing in town? <laughs> so, Mweshmiwa, what lessons did you learn from the Nakumat saga? Give an opportunity and give it away again. Really? And anybody who thinks I've done wrong can go and jump in the lake. <laughs> now, one man who is taking everything in his stride is your comrade, His Excellency Yoweri Kagutam Seven. Even when they accuse him of overstaying in power, he takes it in his stride. After all, I know people are going around and that when you stay long in the government, that's a bad idea, but it's a very good idea. It has helped me very much. Very funny, Your Excellency. But why is it a good idea, Your Excellency? Now nobody can deceive me. You mean you have become wiser? It's finished. All these liars in the Uganda they should look for another territory. Comrades, you heard him. Do it at your own peril and carry your own cross. Even if it is bad warraji you have taken, you will carry your own cross. Go ahead and drink the, this, this stuff and die. Huh. That's a harsh statement, Mwishimi Watafiri. That's your choice. We are saying don't drink it. If you say, okay, man, go ahead. Well, that's your choice. <laughs> they were told to say, do they work? <laughs> Your message is loud and clear. But will the journalists report it right? Football officials, or oh, let me say Mulindwa, does not think so. Evos, so many of them. We know you. You know journalists? In what way, Mulindwa? You take us as if for us, you make small with anyone to expose it. But that's the work of a journalist, sir. We have so many evils. Some of you ever since you left villages, you have never gone there. <laughs> Hey, hey, don't shoot the messenger, sir. Everybody thinks he knows football and he can talk. They put them in the practical aspect. Nothing. So, if the journalists cannot talk football, where should they turn to, Mr. Mulindwa? You can migrate to Tanzania. <laughs> or better still resort to other sports. There are not many games you can play at home or sports. You cannot play rugby at home with the wife except in the bedroom. <laughs> And what about volleyball or table tennis? You can play table tennis in your garage, in the sitting room on the dining table at home. Tony Muangala, point blank. Very poor planning methods. Going to be bloody. Hey, no one is going to be bloody. Why don't you want to go to the One of his young daughters got missed. Yeah. Tomorrow when I become minister for crocodiles, <laughs> nobody can beat me. <laughs>